Hello my hungry friends! Today I welcome you from my little garden home and we are making a Polish vegetable salad, Sawatka Jarzynowa. We are secluding ourselves from the virus, trying to stay sane, trying to be outside a little bit and uh, away from our apartment. So welcome to our garden home. I hope you join us for this wonderful meal. Welcome back to Polish Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a Polish salad, Polish vegetable salad, the queen of all salads. We call it Sałatka Jarzynowa. And to make this you will need a variety of veggies and fruit. And we have uh, potatoes, parsnip or parsley root, carrots and boiled eggs over here. And carrots and parsley or parsley or parsnip you can uh, use if you have some leftover from making rosu, for example. And I believe this is where this salad originated. Uh, as you know, Poles eat a lot of chicken soup, rosu, and then you have all these veggies left over. So they would take them and make it into a salad, adding a few more additions. So um, I boiled some potatoes and some carrots and parsnips all together in one pot. Uh, I salted the water a little bit and now they have cooled completely. And I have three eggs and I have three pickles. Mine are the ones that come in brine. Um, so that's just salted water and they ferment and uh, that's how we make pickles in salted water with some spices. I do have a recipe for that on my website so you're welcome to check it out. If you can't find those in brine, you can use just regular dill pickles. Um, and I have half an onion, uh, one apple, I have two uh, green, green onions, I'm going to chop the whole thing, and I have dill, and you can either use fresh, uh, fresh dill or fresh parsley. I, this, just, this is what I have on hand today, so that's what I'm using. And normally I would also put either canned green, uh, green peas but I don't have any and we're staying home, so I didn't go get any. Um, or, or frozen peas, about a half a cup maybe for this recipe, which I don't have either and I'm staying home, so I'm not gonna put any in my, in my recipe today. So as you know, this is a lot of chopping, but I'm gonna show you a trick how to make that process a little bit faster. And this is also a good way to get your family involved and have someone chop something up to make it quicker. But this is a super, super um, tasty salad. We love it. We eat it at Easter for sure and year round. But since Easter is coming up, I'm making this for you today. So I know most of people have this at home and if you don't, it's like $2 at the store. Uh, I recommend getting it. It not only slices eggs, but it also makes our uh, veggies for this salad nice and uniform. So I always start with potatoes and after chopping potatoes this kind of tells me the size of the dice that I want to use and we want the veggies to kind of be the same cut. So what you're gonna do, come on baby, you're gonna put your potato in just like you would normal egg. And then you slice it once. And then you take it out and you slice it crisscross. So we went this way first. So now we're gonna go crisscross. And they're gonna fall apart a little bit, but we don't we don't mind because it's all gonna go in. And then if, if you have a larger p potato and these are still too big, now be really careful. I do this all the time, so I have good practice, but I go the one last time to make it even smaller. And it's going to break in your hand a little bit. Or if you don't feel comfortable cutting it in your hand, I recommend you just put it on the board and cut it. Uh, or if you have your children helping you do this part. So I'm going to do all of my potatoes like this. And my friends always ask me, how do I get my salad cut so small and this is my secret 
and I share my secret with you now. And you can share it with your family. That's how, that's how us Poles roll with the recipes. Or some of us don't, I guess. I hear a lot of stories from my readers that my grandma or my mom never wrote anything down. And now I have to recreate all the recipes. So it's helpful to have someone show you how to do some of these steps. And this is going to cut on your cutting time. And you'll have this done in no time. So once I cut all my potatoes, I'm going to do the same to my eggs. And here, I show you again. Slice like you normally slice your egg. Then go the other way. We want this way first, as you can see. And go this way. And try to keep it together. And I just flip it onto my hand. And go this way. Nice small dice. Just be super, super careful. So I'm going to go through the rest of these and then we'll get to mixing. Okay, and now for carrots, I just do, depending how big it is in diameter, to kind of match the same size cut. This one I'm going to do in three, then I'm going to put it down and do another cut through. And line these up together. This was really just two carrots, but they were kind of, that one was big, so I cut it in half for boiling. And just gently slice down. This is one of those salads that also, uh, or one of those dishes that tastes better as time goes. Preferably this would sit in the fridge overnight and then be uh, and then tomorrow I would again uh, mix the veggies together and let the flavors combine. So if you want to make some for Easter you can make it a day ahead and you'll see the difference. pickles, apple, cut the ends off, <clears throat> and I'm going to slice this also to kind of match the size of my other dice. And now I'm going to dice the onion. The onion is going to be a little tiny, a uh, bit smaller than the rest. We don't want to be biting into big chunks. And I only have half here because I also am using green onions. So that's going to add a little bit more of that sharp flavor too. So I don't want to add too much. But this is the one veggie that's going to get cut a little bit smaller. I'm going to do as little dice as you can and in we go of course once you make this and you mix in with mix in mayo you can judge how much of what you 
want to add. This is uh, a salad that may be a little bit different from home to home. The idea is the same. It's always tem uh, it's always potatoes, always carrots, always parsnip and uh, pickle and onion and apple. Uh, but the amounts of it may be a little bit different from home to home. Uh, so just kind of make it a few times and see how you like it. If you like the amounts that I'm sharing with you, go ahead and stick to it. If you want yours just a little bit more pickly, add a few more pickles or onions or more herbs. Last but not least, our dill. Ooh, the onion is getting to me now. I'm gonna do this much. The fresh herbs always bring the dish. Kind of round it up. It's not so bare. I love adding fresh herbs. This, and we are done. That wasn't so bad, huh? I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper. If you've salted your veggies before boiling, uh, pay attention to that too. So I'm gonna go just a little bit at a time. I'm gonna do just a sprinkle for right now, maybe a little bit more. And then some fresh pepper or ground pepper. This one seems to be very strong. Just do as much as little as you like. It does need pepper. Whew. And then mayonnaise. Um, don't do Cool Whip, not Cool Whip. Miracle Whip, don't do Miracle Whip. You're gonna ruin your salad. Um, do really good quality mayo. Some people uh, add um, maybe like a fifth of the amount of uh, sour cream and then uh, four fifths of mayo. I just like to stick with mayo because I like the flavor the most. I don't like to mix it with. And go a little bit at a time. This, uh, we don't want this to be swimming in mayo. We want to coat all the veggies, but we don't want them to kind of be submerged in mayonnaise. So this is not like your store-bought uh, potato salad. We want to see all the veggies, and uh, we want to, um, what do we want? Forget what I was gonna say. Right, and um, my brain's not working today for some reason. Oh yeah, uh, when you're mixing, kind of be gentle. Uh, go, you know, don't squish it too much. Just kind of move it around gently, because you don't want those little dices to fall apart and making make it like a mushy salad. So I did like probably four tablespoons, maybe a little bit more. In here, maybe a quarter, yeah, quarter cup, that's I think three or four tablespoons. And I feel this is getting to a point where I don't want to make it any more wet. I'm going to give it a few more stirs. And like I was saying, I would, I always add green peas to it. Um, but I don't have any right now, but the salad would look just a little bit more green if I had uh, peas in it. But it looks pretty good. It looks like it's supposed to. You see the carrots and you see all the little tiny pieces of egg and, <coughs> and potato and even cucumber. That didn't take a whole lot of time, did it? If you were doing it with two or three people, we'd be done in no time. I'm going to give it a taste and see if we need to add any more of anything. Mm. 
Mmm, it's delicious. It needs a little bit more salt. But I wouldn't go super crazy with it because the, the salad needs a little bit more time to kind of release some of the juices from the veggies and, and combine the flavors. So just kind of go slow and taste and be the chef that you are at home. Don't be scared to adjust it a little bit. Don't be scared to add a little bit more pickle or a little bit more onion to make it your own. And this is our salad. Wasn't hard, was it? Make it, share it with your friends, share it, no. Don't share it with your friends, social distancing. Share it with the people you live with, they'll love it. Have a little taste of Polish Easter in your home. And thanks for watching. Thank you for your likes and your comments and your donations. Check out the new robe. Not robe. What is this? Apron. Apron. Check out the new apron. I'll post a link below to the recipe and also to my merch store if you'd like to get some uh, new t-shirts or new aprons uh, and share them with the world. Please subscribe and see you next time. Smacznego!